In this video, we're going to talk about why Fusion 360 was not able to create a fillet on our surface body in Episode 7. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design. And in Episode 7 of our Plastic Part Design series, we had a comment from Steve and he was mentioning that when we create an extrude from this upper edge, that it was actually producing some sliver faces. Now, this is a very keen eye, and I wanted to talk about it more than just having the comment in the video. So I really wanted to explore this and, and make sure that we convey what happened, because it was a, a really good point that Steve made, and I want to make sure that we do convey it. So when we're looking at the plastic housing, we have the base body, which is made up of 28 faces. So if we are to work ourselves around and we count all the faces that we have around here, we end up with 12 faces. So theoretically, if we were to extrude these up, we would expect to get 12 faces. But what Steve noticed is that when we do this, we end up with 20. So we're going to talk about that here. We're going to figure out a couple of different workarounds, and we're just going to try to understand it a little bit better. So in the surfaces, if we simply go to extrude and we select this upper edge, and we begin to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up a distance of 12 millimeters with no draft. We say OK. Notice that we have 12 faces here. If we modify this extrude and we add our minus 2 degrees of draft, notice now that it changes to 20 faces. If we edit that feature one more time, and instead of 12 millimeters, we do something smaller like 2 millimeters, notice we have 12 faces is what we would expect. So somewhere between having draft at 12 plus millimeters is causing it to create these sliver faces. Now, even if we go back and we say extrude this all the way up to 12 and we have those 20 faces, if we work our way around and select these, you'll notice that we still only have 12 faces visible. It only seems like we still have 12. One of the things that uh, Steve mentioned is that one of the workarounds that he had was to create the extrude at two millimeters, which only gives us 12 faces, and then to extend those edges. Now, one thing I found is that when we use extend, it doesn't treat this upper edge as an entire chain. But if we were to go into the create tool and use ruled, and we select this upper edge, it does treat it as a chain. I'm not really sure why the difference is there, but note that if we bring this up an additional 10 millimeters and we say, okay, we have 12 faces on the new ruled surface and we have 12 on the original. So we could stitch these two together. And when we do that, we now have 24 faces because we have the 12 along that bottom rim and we have the 12 up top. So while this does work, it is problematic because now we have some additional edges. We could go back and we could manually do this with extend, but we'd have to manually pick each of those edges. And while that's not really a big deal when we have 12, it might be problematic when we go to use something like a more complex housing that maybe has more edges to select. So we can just work our way around. And you can see now we've got the extension here and we've got 12 faces. But there is another way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this extrude. I'm going to take it all the way up to 12. Now let's go to 15. It won't matter. And you can see we've got these 20 faces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and use unstitch. When we use unstitch, what's going to happen is we're going to undo all of the stitched edges from all of these faces, all 20 of them. And when we do that, it gives us all 20 faces broken out. What we can do is we can go through this list and we can find those sliver faces. You'll notice that this one here doesn't show anything on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hide it and I'm just going to work my way around until I find additional sliver faces. So you can see here, every time we get between those faces on the end, it looks like we're having additional sliver faces. So you can see here, we've got one there, we've got one right in between, and we've got one here, and we've got one here. And what we should find is that we're left with 12 faces that are visible. One, two, so let's just go through. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So if we exclude all of those from our stitch and we just put these together, you'll notice that we have 48 free edges. We have edges to be stitched 24, which is going to be our 12 faces because we've got um, edges that are stitched between each face. So we should see that we are, we're getting 
12 now. So we've got 28 in the original, we've got 12 here, and then we've got all these extras that we can remove. While that process was not ideal, it is something that we can do if we do notice this problem. Now, when I went through this the first time, we had issues with the fillet, and I didn't even notice that we had additional sliver faces. I just assumed that it was 12, and I never really looked. But that is a great point that we should always be mindful of how many actual faces we have, even though it's one surface body, the number of faces will matter. So to prove this works, I'm going to go ahead and just create a simple extrude. I'm going to just use my arc. I'm not even going to worry about creating a sweep, but we're just going to use the arc here. I'm going to extrude it out. We'll do it symmetric so it goes all the way through. And then we'll use trim. So I'll trim this upper piece with our extrude, and then I'll trim the extrude with that lower piece. We'll stitch them together. And what we should see is that we can now create a fillet on that upper edge. So if we select it, go ahead and select the edge and bring this down, you can see that it does fill it properly. We can use curvature continuity, and now we're able to fill at that upper edge. So again, great, uh, great thing that Steve pointed out. I really appreciate the comment and noticing that we do have 20 faces created from that extrude when realistically it should only be 12. So if you're following along and you had the same trouble, obviously after episode seven, we sort of started to do some workarounds, but that's a great point, something we should always consider just in case Fusion decides to make extra little slivers or faces and that could just save us a little bit of time downstream. So once again, thanks Steve for the comment and thanks everybody for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them on the video or send me an email as always. Thanks and we'll see you in the next one.